Okay, so now that we actually have a two-dimensional sketch, we're going to go ahead and turn that into a three-dimensional model. Now, the most common tool to make a three-dimensional model is called the extrude tool, and that is this first icon in the three-dimensional tools next to the sketch button here. If I click on the extrude tool, I'm going to get a new menu to actually change the settings, and the first thing you have to select is the face and sketch that you want to extrude. So, for example, if I zoom in here, I can actually select the face of my drawing, and it will go ahead and turn it into a three-dimensional model. Now, there's a couple different settings that I'll get into more detail in a later video, but the main thing is how thick or how tall you actually want to go ahead and create this three-dimensional model. So by default, it's one inch. I can actually grab this slider and change manually, or of course, I can just type in a specific number and it will change it for me. Um, and once you're done with the extrude, you just simply hit this green checkbox to go ahead and confirm and create your three-dimensional object. Now it's important to remember that you can really only select one feature at a time. So if you wanted different thicknesses, you have to make multiple sketches. And here's what I mean by that. Let's say that I actually want to extrude this eye a different height than the outer perimeter. If I said that I wanted this eye to be somewhere around 0.08 for whatever reason, and I wanted this outer perimeter, this outer face to be around 0.5, I cannot do that in the same extrusion. By default, everything's going to be the same measurement. So I would actually have to go ahead and create separate sketches to do that function. And again, I, I'll do that in a later video here. 